All right, this time we're going to clear everything off of your desk except for a clean sheet of paper, a pencil, and a calculator. Everything away except one clean sheet of paper, a pencil, and a calculator. We're going to take your second degree calculus test here in just a moment. If you're watching on YouTube, I do want to mention that uh, for homework, what I'll need you to work on is a uh, 38 question, 55 minutes, so more than a minute a question, which gives you a little more time to think than the ACT does, I might mention, uh, SAT prep section. Uh, earlier we did uh, section three of the SAT practice test, which is no calculator, and it's a shorter section, um, but for homework this evening, we need you to do the longer section, which does allow the use of a calculator. And we'll be going over that in the next lesson, and then probably the lesson after that will probably need to finish up. I don't know that we'll have time to uh, go over the entire test in our next lesson. But uh, anyway, look in the description of this video and you will see the, uh, the practice test link there. All right, but uh, for now, clean sheet of paper, pencil, calculators, all you need, everything else aside. And um, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our test. Um, well, let's pray first, then we'll take a look at the test. Lord God, I thank you. For my students, I pray that you'd help them as they take this test now to do their very best, to remember the things they've learned, or there's some formulas they need to remember, there's some processes that they need to remember. There's a lot of little details to pay attention to, so Lord, I pray you'd help them to do their very best on those. Um, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, let's go and take a look at the test now. Uh, first of all, name, of course, the name spot. Today's date in the date spot. I'll leave the score blank. I'll, I'll fill that out myself. Um, let's take a look at the test once you got first and last name and today's date in the date spot. All right, first section, uh, graphing, just some various questions about graphing. Write the word or answer, whatever the answer needs to be in the blank. Um, the next section, degrees, radians, you're converting to the opposite measure. So on number nine, you've got degrees, turn it into radians. Number 10, you've got radians, turn it into degrees. Uh, for numbers 11 through 13, finding the exact value of each trig function. Okay, so I've given you a trig function and another piece of information that you'll need to find a different trig function. Again, leave your answer not as a decimal, but as exact value. So fraction, maybe radicals, but no decimals. Page two, more exact values, no calculator for this page. <clears throat> um, again, these are all special angles. They're just outside the first quadrant. And so you'll need to uh, need to find those exact values. Make sure you think through all the steps on those. And the last page, uh, for 22 through 24, you're reducing to the co-function of a positive acute angle. Again, you're not finding an exact value. You're not actually finding, you know, for instance, the sine of 72 degrees or anything like that. You're just rewriting in terms of the co-function of a positive acute angle. Um, and again, several steps along the way. Make sure you're careful to think through everything of those. And then problem solving. Here's where you will use those formulas from chapter three. And um, just a few problems here. Again, make sure you use significant figures in your answers. Make sure you use appropriate units in your answers. And uh, show the work okay, so that you can get some partial credit. But starting with the formulas in each case. All right. Again, next lesson, we'll be going over SAT prep. But for now, do your very best on this test. 